Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Channel strip plugins truly allow you to change the way you mix. Even though technically you're mixing in the box, you can perform in a similar fashion as though you were working with a physical console. The biggest benefit, in my opinion, to channel strip plugins is they give you quick access to the most commonly used tools, and they limit your options, but in a good way. For example, if I'm given a parametric EQ with unlimited bands, I can spend all day finding different things to tweak. But give me a good channel strip with only a handful of bands to choose from, and it makes my work a lot easier. That doesn't mean that I may not supplement it with a secondary EQ, but the point remains that channel strips are fantastic tools for mixing. One of the great things about working with a physical console is the fact that you already have a channel strip on every channel. What if you could emulate console-style behavior in Reaper by easily having a channel strip plug-in on every track? You might be surprised to find out that Reaper doesn't have a way built in to easily add the same plug-in to multiple tracks at once. Fortunately, there's a script to make this a lot faster for us. Let's take a look. I've got a blank project open and I'd like to start by adding 32 tracks. If you're new to Reaper, you may not know the easy way to add multiple tracks in one shot. I'll right click a blank spot in the track control panel and choose insert multiple tracks. I now have a dialog asking me how many tracks I would like and if I would like to follow a naming convention. The last time I used this, I inserted 10 tracks, so that's what's in there now. I'll change that from 10 to 32. And for name, I'll just put the word track. Press OK or enter on the keyboard. And I now have 32 tracks, each named track 1 through 32, per my naming convention. At this point, all 32 of my newly inserted tracks are selected, but if I press the effects button on any of the available tracks, I'm only adding effects to the one track that I clicked. Let's add an instance of IK Multimedia's white channel on track number 1. Now at this point, if I wanted to have white channel on the remaining tracks, I have an option of left-clicking and dragging from the effects insert on one track to the other, but this can still take some time to do this across 32 different tracks. I'll remove those four that I just added and show you a faster way. As you can see, I still have my 32 tracks selected, so with my white channel in focus, I'll go to Actions, Show Action List, and I'll do a search for Insert Effects. Here I have a script, Insert Focused Effects to Selected Tracks. I'll double click that, and in a matter of seconds, White Channel has been inserted across all 32 tracks. Now if this is something that I wanted to do regularly, of course I can save this as a track template and always recall that. If you'd like to know more about saving and using track templates, click the link above. The script that I use to insert the plugin on all of my tracks is not one that comes with Reaper. It's one that's provided by MPL, and it's available for free through Repack. If you don't already have Repack installed, click the link above to learn how. You will need to add MPL's repository to Repack. I'll go to Extensions, Repack, and Manage Repositories. Here we see I already have MPL Scripts repository added in Repack. I'll leave this repository link in the description. To add this repository to your Repack, copy the link and click on Import Export, Import Repositories, and paste the link into the Import Repositories dialog. Once you've got the repository loaded, go back into Repack, and Browse Packages, and search for Insert Effects. The one that I use today is Insert Focused Effects to Selected Tracks. You can see there's a variant, Insert Focused Effects to Selected Tracks, Preserve Parameters. Let's install this one and see how it works. I'll right-click, choose Install, and Apply. Now my script is installed, I'll close out of Repack, and let's remove all instances of White Channel for a moment. I'll click on View, and Project Media Effects Bay. I'll go to the Effects tab, and you can see here that I have 32 instances of White Channel. I'll right click, and go to Retain Remove, and Remove from Project. Now all 32 instances have been removed. Back on track number one, let's go ahead and add back White Channel. And let's assume, like before, I'd like to have all 32 channels with an instance of white channel, but I'd also like for all of them to include a 30 Hz high-pass filter. I'll engage the filter in. We can see it's already set for 30. And let's assume I'd also like for each one to have a ratio of 3 to 1 on the compressor to start. I'll set this to 3. And really, you can change any parameter that you'd like to have as a default layout on this. Just as before, with all my tracks selected and with white channel focused, I'll go to Actions, Show Action List, and I'll do a search for Insert Effects. 
This time I'll choose Insert Focused Effects to Selected Tracks, Preserve Parameters. I'll double click the action to run it. And we can see the effect being inserted across all the channels. Now in this case I inadvertently added it to the first track as well, but that's okay. Let's take a quick look at track number 15 and I'll open that instance of white channel. And just as we specified, my filter in is turned on, we've got it set to 30 hertz, and my compressor ratio is set at 3 to 1. While on the surface this tool may not seem that useful, if you ever need to add the same effect to multiple tracks, this is the best way that I've found to do it in one shot. It definitely saves you a lot of time versus dragging and dropping the effect onto all subsequent tracks. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, Patreon, or Super Thanks links below. Check out my drum editing and reaper course on ProMix Academy, and if you'd like to engage with other reaper users, be sure to click the Discord link in the description below. We'll see you next time. It's weird, I went through all the trouble of adding those Amazon affiliate links in the description today and I'm not even going to mention them on the video because I don't want to seem like a money hungry product shill. Maybe somebody will just see the links and they'll be interested in something.